Maccabi Shani, two Maccabees, six. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Yahdim to depart from the Torah of their fathers and not to live after the Torah of Elohim and to pollute also the temple in Yerushalayim and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius and that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place. That, rather, the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling, rather, reveling by the other nations who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places, and besides that brought in things that were against the Torah. The altar also was filled with profane things, which the Torah forbids. Neither was it lawful for a man to guard days of Shabbat, or ancient feasts, or to profess himself at all to be a Yahudi. And in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices and when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Yahudim were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus, carrying ivy. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Yahudim, that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the other nations should be put to death. Then might a man have seen the present misery. For there were two women brought who had circumcised their children, whom when they had openly led round about the city, the babes hanging at their breasts, they cast them down headlong from the wall. And others that had run together into caves nearby, to guard the Shabbat secretly, being discovered by Philip, were all burnt together, because they made a conscience to help themselves for the honor of the most sacred day. Now I beseech those that read this sefer, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation." For it is a sign of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time, but forwith punished. For not as with other nations whom Yahweh patiently forbears to punish till they have come to the fullness of their sins, so deals he with us. Let the, rather lest that, being come to the height of sin, afterwards he should take vengeance on us. And therefore... He never withdraws his mercy from us, and though he punish with adversity, yet he never forsakes his people. But let this be spoken now for a warning unto us, and now will we come to the declaring of the matter in a few words. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh, but he, choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment, as it behooved them to come, that are resolute to stand out against such things as are against the Torah for love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use, and made as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king, that in so doing he might be delivered from death, and for the old friendship with them find favor. But he began to consider discreetly and as became his age, and the excellency of his ancient years, and the honor of his gray head, whereon was come, and his most honest education from a child, 
or rather the holy Torah made and given by Elohim. Therefore he answered accordingly and willed them straightways to send him to Sheol, for it becomes not our age, said he, in any wise to dissemble, whereby many young persons might think that Eleazar, being fourscore years old and ten, were now gone to a strange religion. And so they, through my hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and a moment longer, should be deceived by me, and I get a stain to my old age and make it abominable. For though the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I not escape the hand of El Shaddai, neither alive nor dead. Wherefore now, manfully changing this life, I will show myself such as one, rather such one as my age requires, and leave a notable example to such as be young, to die willingly and courageously for the honorable and holy Torah. And when he had said these words, immediately he went to the torment. They that led him changing the good will they bore him a little before into hatred, because the foresaid speeches proceeded, as they thought, from a desperate mind. But when he was ready to die with stripes, he groaned and said, It is manifest unto Yahweh that has the holy knowledge, that whereas I might have been delivered from death, I now endure sore pains in body by being beaten, but in soul am well content to suffer these things, because I fear him. And thus this man died, leaving his death for an example of a noble courage and of a memorial of virtue, not only unto young men, but unto all his nation.